Click the bell, turn on all notifications, and subscribe for around-the-clock WWE news in real time. The home of the most consistent and dedicated breaking news in WWE, Sean's View Ends, is here for you. Like, comment, and share today. We are in a day of releases. We are in a day of firings. We are in a day of fines. And we are in a day where Vince McMahon has filed an official response in the Janelle Grant lawsuit. And then Janelle Grant's lawyer has a retort, a rebuttal to Vince McMahon. Obviously, this weighs heavy because if Vince McMahon somehow, some way defeats this, uh, we can't even say gets away with it because, again, we, are, we all know you are, guilt, you are innocent until proven guilty in the court of freaking law. And if Vince McMahon knows anything about law, it's he knows about winning. He knows about coming up big when it matters most. And he knows what it's like to hear that you are innocent. And again, going into this court case, Vince McMahon found an official response. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in massive havoc, massive mayhem. And we all know that tonight will be WWE spring breaking on NXT. Tonight's NXT spring break and kicks off with high stakes, viewers. Absolutely high stakes. And in, in addition to Cameron Grimes getting released by the WWE and a new woman's champion being crowned, Finn Balor signing an extension with the WWE. Are you happy? Are you glad? Uh, are you satisfied that Finn Balor is going to be staying with the WWE? You know, a lot of people don't think that Finn Balor is already into his 40s. You know, people don't suspect that. But Finn Balor is already well into his 40s. And uh, the fact that he's 42 years old, you know, that's getting up there to be, uh, you know, as, as a wrestler, it's getting up there in the, in the age range, the age frame. However, viewers, fans, and subscribers, the um, Federal Trade Commission is approving a ban on non-compete agreements in world wrestling entertainment. Also, do you want to see the return of Lars Sullivan, viewers? The return of Lars Sullivan, accused of threatening a female spa owner. I guess Lars Sullivan, remember, he was supposed to get this gigantic push. He was supposed to go into the main event. He was supposed to get this big rub, and all that kind of went down, and then he got released in Lars Sullivan. We haven't heard that name in quite a long time. Also, Mandy Rose is calling out WWE's hypocrisy after banning her name from World Wrestling Entertainment. And MVP is issuing a warning against fake social media accounts pretending to be him. And massive breaking news is Sheamus about to undergo a name change. Is Sheamus going to undergo a name change in the WWE? Sheamus wants to be called Burger King following the recent remarks by Drew McIntyre and the fans and the trolls on WWE television. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Sheamus had no issues with the controversial line from Drew McIntyre on Monday Night Raw. And where is this leading to? What is this setting up? A lot of rumors and speculation that Drew McIntyre and Sheamus could become the brand new World Tag Team Champions on Monday Night Raw. Also, Ludwig causes future plans following his vicious assault on his tag team partner. Gunther and Ludwig Kaiser are tentatively scheduled to continue to work together after the turn on Gio Giovanni Vinci. Now, again, a lot of rumors and speculation. And if you didn't know, here on this channel, we expose breaking news, rumors, and speculation in debate. It's all about opinions. It's all about commentary. It's all about comments here on The Brash in the Brazen Will. We fill you in on the latest, the greatest, and the hottest. Also, additional WWE superstars are expected to declare the King of the Ring and the Queen of the Ring tournaments. Also, John Cena receives a birthday wish from AEW Birthday Twin. John Cena and AEW, what's the connection there? Well, the fact that it is John Cena's birthday wish from an AEW fan. Also, with Cameron Grimes being released by the WWE, by the company, he released a very heartfelt message on social media. And a $250 million plagiarism lawsuit against WWE and AEW cannot be dismissed at this stage of the game, cannot be overturned. Your thoughts your comments, and your opinions on that volatile situation. And, and also, former WWE champion Jinder Mahal addresses the social media war with AEW president Tony Khan. And Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis 
court response deadlines for the Janelle Grant lawsuit are being unveiled online. It is being leaked in front of the entire world for Vince McMahon and John Lerner. It's their court response deadline. And Amanda Huber defends JoJo Offerman against a judgmental remark after the passing of Bray Wyatt. And Brian Cage dismisses claims of taking a shot at Cody Rhodes's WrestleMania 40 victory where he won the WWE Championship. In Rhea Ripley responds to the Women's World Title Battle Royal finish on Monday Night Raw. In what is Liv Morgan's reaction to losing last night? She came up so big, but so close when it mattered most on the red brand of Raw. Liv Morgan breaks silence after the shocking failure on Monday Night Raw. She says, it's on. The Liv Morgan Revenge Tour continues on. It rattles on. Also, ladies and gentlemen, coming through the desk of the Brash the Brazen, fresh and true for all of you, all new level of disgusting. Janelle Grant's lawyer on the Vince McMahon latest claims, an all new level of disgusting. Also, with Vince McMahon filing response to Janelle Grant lawsuit, like I said earlier, now it brings up to the viewership for Saturday's special rampage. 397,000 viewers with a 0.13 rating and the 18 to 49 dummy gut, which is up from the previous 295,000 viewers with a 0.08 rating. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation about Solo Sokoa after his savage, brutal beating, after the beatdown, after he bludgeoned, after he bloodied Kevin Owens on SmackDown. There's a lot of rumors and speculation that Triple H was going to fire him. He was going to release him. But... Kevin Owens, being the fighter that he is, being the man that he is, he says, no, don't fire him. I don't want you to fire him. I want revenge. I want retaliation. I want retaliation, revenge, and I want to respond to this attack, to this assault after what happened when Solo Sokoa and Tama Tonga laid him out, bloodied him, viciously attacked. It was a savage assault, a savage beat And again, Triple H, the SmackDown general manager, wanted to fire him. But again, you know how Triple H you know, wants to conduct business. You know, it's all about what's best for business and Kevin Owens getting beaten down. One of your premier performers, one of your top superstars getting beat down, bludgeoned, and beaten to a bloody bath by the hands of Solo Sokoa. And we all saw what happened on Raw last night. A member of, you know, Emperium got fined by the Raw general manager. And this was supposed to make up a big thing, but uh, when push comes to shove, it would appear as if uh, Kevin Owens says no. I want my revenge, my retaliation, and I want it. And, I, you know, you know, firing, you know, Solo or Tamatunga, doing any of that wouldn't help me. So your thoughts, your comments, and your feedback, do you think that Solo Segoa should be fired for his problems, his actions? It, were they way out of line? Ladies and gentlemen, your thoughts, your comments, your feedback. If it weren't for you, there would be no Sean View. Sean View stays true with all news, rumors, and lines. We stay aligned to the viewers and everything that you want from Sean View because, again, you are the reason why Sean View comes to you day in and day out hourly to keep you in the know and give you the highest scoop of WWE. Subscribe.